So yeah, what's happening as we've seen on Friday, Buggy was confronted on Walk Call Live about lying about having cancer. After eight hours of podcast later, it seems that Buggy finally tripped himself up in his lies. It is what it is, and it's so funny because I'm looking at my portal right now. I'm Show literally, us! I'm looking, no, fuck you. I'm trying to find that screen right now. And it's a simple matter of fucking emailing it to one of you guys, and you'll never fucking see it. I already looked it up on the web portal, I already screenshot it. It's a matter of just fucking dropping that in the group chat. Just so you know, but we're not fucking doing that. It's fine, Buggy. Just, hey. just admit it's not in the portal. It's not on there. I told okay. you this. I, Thank I you. I have to do the verifying Thank test. You. And I would never, never lie about cancer. Okay. And it's yeah, you would never lie about it. Think I would. So yeah, to think Mutar was right on the money when he says this will permanently damage the brand. I've seen a few people saying that it's cancel culture, but I think faith and cancer was never okay. Even before the Me, Me Too movement, faith and cancer was still a pretty huge deal. At this point, it seems as though Buggy's become an unreliable narrator, bringing into question whether any of what he said happened to him is real, or at best, heavily exaggerated. I don't want to say everything as a lie, but I do believe he remembers things as if he's like the main character, sort of like Cartman does. Unable to help himself, making up pointless lies after pointless lies, digging himself deeper and deeper, opening himself up to more contradictions and just blatant mi misspeaking and just catching himself out. Another point I, I don't see brought up as often is I think Buggy's a lot more intelligent than people are led on to believe. I'm not saying the guy's a genius or anything, but I do believe he's conscious of most of the terrible, the destructive behaviour. And too many people give him the benefit of the doubt due to ailments that he claims that he's on the spectrum. But is anyone that isn't his family or his brother that's a doctor, could, can anyone actually vouch that he is on the spectrum? Because I doubt it. O honestly, who else, who else would be given this much leeway and chances and opportunities? The man's been more than spent his credit. But this is far beyond anything he's done in the past and I, I don't even want to imagine what he could possibly do next. I don't want to think of the levels of depravity he could sink himself to. And it, as the past shown us, when you do forgive him, he just does something far worse. I genuinely think it might be better for his own benefit if people didn't help him. Because it seems as though all that does is reinforce this mentality of that nothing was his fault and everything's been, like, thrown on him by God or something. Again, to the point of Buggy making things up, i seen this clip floating around on the reddits and stuff, and it's from early on in the HC podcast. And the, the, where Buggy pretty much like says in plain and terms that yeah he does literally convince himself of some of these illnesses and that he reckons it was brought on by his own mother. My mom was like crazy mm. and so, but that all to me, I, you know, I, you know, I'm a victim of Munchausen syndrome so how much of that is bullshit right? So yeah I don't think this really exonerates him because I think you'd 100% know if you did have cancer. And I, I just can't see people keep, I can't see people wanting to buy more local subscriptions and memberships, knowing that they'll literally be supporting a man who's been scamming through cancer. I, I don't under, understand it. I, I understand it's a local show, but I believe some things you can't come back from, and Buggy's had about 12 of them now. And forgiveness has never worked, so I wholeheartedly believe that nothing will change until something happens to him, until like, it hits him where he hurts. He's pretty much the definition of comfort over clean, and he still hasn't admitted to, to it, he just got caught out, and then when people told him he'd been caught out, he proceeded to double down. If he was an out and out villain, I don't think people would care as much, but it's the way he pleads for sympathy and makes vague threats on himself, so that people won't attack him, which to me is worse than the cancer lie itself. To be using something like a mental health issue like that, like depression when I don't think he probably has it, he's just exaggerating because he, he's literally using his life as a bargaining chip to get back on people's good side, it's sick. Boogie, you know we can get these answers out of you, right? G keep, keep trying. Go right ahead. One hour later. You're referring to? The I don't know. I, I do know. I am having trouble remembering things right now. Boogie, Thumbnail take a anything. moment. Bo Buggy, take a moment. Breathe. Calm down. You're having a fucking panic attack. I can see it on your Oh, face. I am. Yeah, trust me. I'm yeah. about... I, breathe. It feels, like, it feels like a fucking heart attack, if I'm being honest, but... You're not going to have a heart attack. Breathe, just breathe. just chill out a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Just chill out. Chill out. I don't want to... Guys, we, I don't want to share my medical records. I don't want to fucking do We got to just bring the temperature the down show, a little bit. No, if it costs me the fucking show, it costs me the fucking show. That's it. That's it. If it costs me the fucking show, it costs me the fucking show. And it'll end up costing me everything. And it's fine. It's fine, but it's I don't. Because I, I don't want to share. Because polysuctimia is not on there. 
I, like I said, I still need to get the verifying test. I told you this. So right. I, we know this. this. We know that everybody, everybody have, knows this. I have plenty of things that I can send him. I can send him results of blood tests showing my fucking red blood cell high. I could probably, we could probably get him the fucking So code Vera's not on there. Vera's not on the portal. I don't know, man. It's not. I can send you, you a bunch know. of stuff. That, it's I guess four days ago you were looking yeah, at it. Yeah, four days ago you said you were looking at it. Like so I it's, told you, it's I spent the last... Like I told you, I spent the last two years getting treated for it. I've been told by my doctor for the last it's two fine, years. It's fine, Boogie. Just admit it's not on the portal. It's not on there. I told okay, you this. I told thank you. I have to do the verifying thank test. You. All right. I can send so you, you don't blood have test. On the portal. I can give you blood thank test you. results. Thank and you don't have polycythemia vera on the. You don't have it on the portal. He doesn't have it on the portal. Exactly. And, and I find it very hard to believe, and I'm not willing to disbelieve it's that fine, three doctors Buggy, stop you said freaking diagnosed out. That, you. No, that's why it fucking None of them sucks. wanted to put it no, in the that, chart. That's why it fucking sucks that you that I'm getting called by all of my favorite fucking creators a liar when I'm not fucking lying. You and lied not, one and a half years ago about a diagnosis. No, I didn't because he fucking see. told me. My doctor fucking told me I have cancer. God damn it. It's in my fucking medical charts. My brother's fucking seen it. What is the fucking lie? My girlfriend sat there while he fucking said it. My brother's seen my medical charts. My friends are taking me to fucking visits where they took my fucking blood. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Now we got to why we can't see the records. It's fine. Just calm down. I don't think it's going to be fun for anyone to watch a show where the host is literally allowed to manipulate people this much. Also notice the way he shouts over them when they criticize him and then he'll soon break out into tears, but at most it lasts about 10 or 20 seconds. To me that isn't someone that's sorry, that's not someone who's crying because th they feel bad for what they've done. It's like when a child gets caught doing something bad and they cry to, to make the parent feel bad. It's extremely manipulative and you can see right through it. You'd have to be an idiot to not see what he's doing. And one last point I'd like to say is, Buggy seems to be convinced that his fans that were scammed were rich. Does anyone actually believe that lo loads of millionaires are watching Buggy? And they're the ones who bought them? Because to me what makes a lot more sense is a load of neurodivergents who make terrible financial decisions and are easily tricked and manipulated. You know, them type of guys that'll buy snake oil. Because I, I, I don't see millionaires spent who, what millionaire would we even watch buggy M fair enough maybe one or two finds him but I, I can't i think i think i think it's just f a flawed idea that theft is only a crime if you do it to poor people it's just it's something it's a stupendous idea only buggy you could come up with but yeah that's pretty much it i just think that the show is gonna suffer from this point by having him on because he, he pretty much can't admit to what he's done and he, he just cries and screams like a child. It's just, it's not even fun to watch at this point. So yeah, just buggy, getting even lower than he has in a bit. And uh, yep, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. And Actually, both of them are The girl is dead, my mom is dead, everyone I know and love Wait, is dead. Wait, the girl died? Whoa. How yeah, did she die? Died at, she died of 39 of like fucking lung cancer. She had breast cancer and they beat the breast cancer. But Jesus. then the treatment for the breast cancer gave her lung cancer. Oh, oh, that sounds that's absolutely shit. terrible. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking awful. Yeah. I feel I'm sorry you had to go through that. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. Damn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. I'm serious. You know, she like what do I? What, why do I get to complain? She's the one that has to be dead. You know, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God damn.